Let's play some more Sally Face. Sal, Sally, where are you? Birdos. Don't wander so far, sweetie. I want to see my the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But really, I, I want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Oh, alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees! I guess over here? Yeah, there's trees over here. And away we go! Ah! Oh! Sal, what happened to your face? Oh, did the dog eat your face, Sal? Uh oh. Oh. Sal. Buddy. Thank you so much for helping me out with that toilet. No problem, Miss Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman would have normally taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom's just over there. Bathroom. <laughs> Holy shit, Mrs. Sanderson! God damn! What did you eat? <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, hey, look, there's an eyeball. Oh shit, that's a jacksepticeye eyeball. That's a that's a ladder. What's over this way? Hey! I don't want to look at you. All right, let's <laughs> look at you, pony. You there? Please help me. What's wrong? The water. It's stopped. So thirsty. Ah, don't worry. I know how to fix this. Please hurry. Climb up. I gotta find the poop poo water. Oh, is this a toilet maze? Oh, great. A toilet maze. My favorite. Let me guess. There's another... Oh, there's a switch. Ah, okay. That switch does nothing. All right. And this is a bing. All right. And then do I climb down for the next one or do I climb up for the next one? This is a really dumb puzzle. Nope. So I climb up for the next one. And then I look for it. Is this it? Good job. And then I guess the last one's going to be that one downstairs. If we're doing rules of three, which we are, cool, cool, cool. I'm glad that, I'm glad that we're uh, adhering to video gaming norms. This is actually fine. I'm okay with this. And then we hit this bad boy over here. Boom, boom. It worked. Yes, sir. Rule of three. I know my video games. <clears throat> now there's water. All right, Mister. Okay. <laughs> hey, there's the poo poo again! Alright, I guess toilet's fixed. Alright, let's look. Alright, there she is. Oh, I could just leave? There she is. Oh, that's a good perspective. That's a really good perspective. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. There he is. Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. Oh. 
I know you've touched my pony. I thought we were friends, Sal. Oh. <clears throat> Episode 2, The Wretched. Man, you're still having those nightmares? I haven't had them this bad since right before my mom died. Or since right after my mom died. I really think that this, it's this building, there's something off about it. Dude, I know you're so insistent about it, but I don't think this place is haunted. <clears throat> I've been here for most of my life, and I haven't seen any ghosts. But... But what? Well, I mean, we've known each other for a while now. I have to show you something. <clears throat> Come on. Ready? Oh, that's a nice little jacket. Wow, how come you never told me about this? It's where I go when I need to be alone. It's my fortress of solitude. Oh, that's cute. <clears throat> that's really cute, actually. Awesome. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, let's go on up. None of those are climbing noises. This is so cool. I always wanted a treehouse when I was younger. Yeah, my dad built this for me before he, uh, disappeared. <clears throat> Wait, what? What do you mean disappeared? One day he was here and everything was okay, and the next day he was just gone. No note, no nothing. All of his things were still here, and his clothes, his tools, his wallet, his all of everything. It just disappeared. Damn, I'm sorry, Larry. I didn't... I know how hard that is. Did your parents not get along? No, my, my parents love each other. They hardly even fought or anything. It just... It isn't what it sounds like. Dad didn't just leave us. Even if that's what my mom chooses to believe. I I know he wouldn't ever leave us like that. He he loved us. I, I believe you. So, what do you think happened? Look, you know I'm not generally superstitious. And I know you and Chug swear that the apartments are haunted, but... Well, I, I think it's something else. Like what? I haven't told many people about this, but... I know I can trust you, Sal. I know you won't judge me. Of, co of course not. The, the day before you disappeared, I did something I'm not proud of. My, my parents got some firecrackers and they told me so so many times to wait for them, not play with them on my own, but I, I just couldn't resist, dude. I lit a few out back and one ended up in Miss Glibson's open window and it killed her pet rabbit. Oh, man, that's rough. Yeah, so... I ran in to check on Miss Gibson, and she was screaming at me like crazy, as if I needed another reason to piss off. And that, as if I needed another reason to piss off that old bag. I felt horrible though, that, that poor bunny. Anyway, I was, I was coming down the elevator, that's when I saw the demon. He, he reached out and, and touched me, and I got like this super cold chill down my whole body. I, I was scared shitless, dude. I thought I was losing my mind, but he, he was gone as quick as he came, just as the door opened. He cursed me because of what he, what I did, he cursed me. Everything in my life was fucked after that. My dad disappeared, my mom stopped talking to me for a while, had to spend two weeks in juvie for accidentally killing that rabbit, my bike got stolen, I missed so much school that I had to take summer class, it's been one bad thing after the next. Ever since then, horrible things have been happening to me or around me. So you think this curse took your dad away? I know it's how it sounds, but I know it's true. It's, 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 it's all my fault. My dad, the rabbit, Mrs. Sanderson, everything. Oh, hold on, man. If, if there is some kind of curse on you, you can't blame yourself for every bad thing that happens. It's not all your fault. Hmm. What did this demon look like? It was like nothing I'd ever seen before. It was like a moving shadow, all black and misty, but it had like the form of a man. And the eyes were like the worst part. Deep red eyes that pierced right through you. Oh, holy shit! What? I've seen it too! I, I've seen your demon! No way, when? I, I swear, I've seen it in the building, just, just, just like you described. I bet it's linked to the other ghost too. I don't know, dude. What if we break this curse of yours? How would we do that? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe there's some clues around here that could help. We, we, we could try to find more about the ghosts. See if we get to the bottom of this. 
Uh, sure, why not? I've got nothing else to lose. Picture. Oh, shit! Oh, that's strange. What's that? Got this weird Gear Boy cartridge in the Lost and Found box a while ago. I think it's, it reacts to supernatural activity. That was one of the last pictures we took together, not long before he disappeared. Hmm, better keep looking. Cabinet. Nothing useful. Chest. I understand. What is that? Box. Take it. Yo, what's with this fucking cursed puzzle box? Hellraiser style. I don't know, man. Uh, it belonged to my dad. Some kind of puzzle box? Never could figure out how to open it, though. Looks like there's a piece missing? Yeah, you're right. I never noticed that before. Might have followed onto this? Ah, go ahead. Cool. Yeah, it looks like it's missing two parts. Let me know if you get it open. Yeah, of course. Ah, nice camera there. I'm gonna look around and see what else I can find out. Alright, sounds good. I sort of have to stay here and take care of my mom. She's super sick. Yeah, I noticed that. Let me let me know if there's anything you need. Thanks, Sally. Oh, nice! I should ask Megan if she knows anything about this demon. I hope she'll come out today. Oh, I get to be on the, the wall. Bathroom. Anything in the bathroom? Nothing in the bathroom. Anything in the spooky room? Nothing in the spooky room. Hey, oh my! She's sick. Hey, Lisa, feeling any better today? Oh, hi, Sal. I think today might be the worst of it. Once I'm over this hump, it'll be right as rain. Which is good, because there's a lot of work to be done. I'm just itching to get back to it. Take it easy for now and get some rest. Oh, don't you worry about me, Sal. I've been resting plenty. And Larry's been so helpful, too. I'll be just fine. Oh. More cameras, huh? Hey, Chug, what you up to? Oh, hi, Sally Face. I'm waiting for the snack guy to fill the machine. Can't stop my Saturday without chocolate. I hear ya. I like to start the weekend off with video games and cartoons. Did you see the new Rico's Modern Wish Lift episode? <laughs> Rico's Modish Wife. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good ref. Yeah, that was great. I love that show. Me too. A lot of biohazards. Lost and found. Doesn't look like there's anything I could use. Who is it? Uh, it's Sal from upstairs. Is this something you want? I uh, just wanted to talk to you. Oh, to me? All right, come on in. Doors open. So, uh, I had like something else I was gonna. Cats! I'll talk to you about it later. Well, hello this. Well, hello. Th <clears throat> well, hello there, Sally. What brings a young girl like yourself to see this old woman? Uh, hi, Miss Rosenberg. I, I wanted to ask you a few things, if that's okay. Ask away, child. I might not have much left, but time is all I've got now. Yes, time is all I have, and even that will soon slip away from me. Rosenberg, you are a bundle of joy. Uh, maybe I've never really had a grasp on it at all. You're saying those sad old people words? I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, you- Hey, have you ever seen ghosts in the building? Ghosts? Why in heavens would you worry about such things as ghosts? Sally, you're such a sweet young girl. You remind me of myself from another time. Bye. I'm done with this. <laughs> anyway, so I was gonna record another video. And, uh, I- It was about three hours worth of recordings. Nice camera. Uh, it was about three hours worth of recordings. And turns out I recorded the audio, not the video, because I went straight from recording uh, this to that, and I didn't switch my settings over. <laughs> so I had, uh, I, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Anyway, I think Miss Gibson would kill me if I bothered her again. Let's do it! All right, Addison, what you got? Can I help you, Sal? What's with the cameras? Uh, didn't your father receive the invitation to the monthly meeting? Everything gets discussed there. Oh, yeah, I guess we just kind of forgot about it. That's not a problem. Uh, but I do suggest you join in on the meeting in the future, if you're able to, that is. You see, it helps to keep everyone informed and up to date. Anyhow, to answer your questions, it's a new security system I had put in. For everyone's safety, with all the recent events, the tenants were getting a bit nervous, and 
Hope that with this new state-of-the-art security system in place that everyone can feel a little bit more comfortable in their living arrangements. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks for catching me up on that. My pleasure. Have you seen any ghosts around? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Please don't tell me my building is haunted. That's the last thing I need right now is some promiscuous phantoms frightening my tenants. Oh, yeah. I need that ghost see. <laughs> I'm having a hard enough time keeping everyone happy while Lisa is sick. No, 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 it's okay, Mr. Addison. Everything's okay. I was just, uh, I'm working on a paper for school. Yeah, that, that's all. Whew. I nearly had a heart attack there. I simply cannot handle any more stressors at the moment. Ah, uh, you're doing a great job. Try not to be too hard on yourself. Oh, uh, you're too kind, Sal. Bye. Bye. A lot of cameras. Oh, 403's marked out because she's dead. Uh, can I leave? I cannot leave. You can never leave. But yeah, three hours. Three hours of recording, and it ended up being audio only because I'm stupid. And I didn't swap the stuff around. So expect uh, this, act this video to actually come out uh, eventually. I'm now a full week behind because I fucked it. Oops. Alright, what's on floor two? We're just gonna go about this room by room until something cool happens. 202. I don't want to bother him. Who's here? Dahmer is a little bit quiet today. Who lived here moved out after what happened with Charlie? Oh, this is kind of spooky. Bathroom. Man, that smell is still lingering. I'm not going in there. There is some shit. He left a little bit of a present. He had a little bit too much of that Edison tea. He probably put all his sp his jaws full of sparkle ponies. <laughs> he put his sparkle pony jaws in the bathroom, and he never got around to pulling them out. <laughs> Alright, what's on floor three? Uh, Chug. Chug's downstairs. We got 302. Oh! Hi, Sal! What are you doing up today? What are you up to today? I can't... F what? Hey, David. What happened to your pants? Oh, well, they're in the wash still. Sarah's supposed to go get them, and uh, we just get talking, ya uh, Jano. Lost track of time. What the fuck is this accent? All right, let's go into the spooky part. Let's talk to the homeless man again. I should call Larry so he can meet Megan. Oh, uh, this was for so, so oh. Yeah, come on up to 504. Yeah, my mom just took her medicine, so she'll be passed out for a while. Anyways, I'll be right up. I didn't read any of that. Megan's, we needed to call Larry so that Megan can come up here. Because apparently Megan can only show up in a dark, spooky room. Girl boss, really. So what is it you wanted to show me? Come on, she's in the bathroom. She? Just come on. Damn, these fifth floor rooms seem better days. Shh! What? Just wait a minute. Megan, are you here? Hello? I want you to meet my friend, Larry. Uh, I don't think there's anything here, dude. She might be afraid. She can be pretty shy. Though I haven't been able to get her to come out for a while now. I, I hope she's okay. So, you, you come up to this moldy bathroom to talk to a dead girl? How, how often do you come up here? I've been able to talk to her a few times, but like I said, she hasn't been around lately. Mm. I'm not crazy, Larry. I'm trying to prove this to you. Hey, I never said you were crazy, man. Look, as weird as this is, I believe you, alright? You're you're my best bud, and if this helps with all the finding my dad, then I'm all for it. Really, I thought we'd be able to talk to her today. I just had this feeling. Dude, you know who you should go talk to? Todd. He's probably the smartest kid I know, and he's into the supernatural stuff like you are. I bet he could help somehow. Todd? Really? Huh, I'd never expect that he'd believe in that kind of stuff, but he always seems so... Normal? Rational? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and talk to him and see what I can find out. Alright, I'm gonna head back downstairs and shake, make sure my mom's alright. Listen to some RAD FUCKING MUSIC! And let me know if you find anything. we Will do. Bedroom. Board is shut. I bet you there's some spooky shit in that bedroom. Oh! 502 is unlocked today. 
Ah, birdcage. Rumble. Ah, uh, hello? We just being spooky today? Yeah, we just being spooky today. I'm out of here. Oh, that's just full on boarded up, huh? Huh. No one lives here. A cat. Gizmo, you enjoying it? What you watching, buddy? Oh, thank you for letting me know. Thank you. What we got in the bathroom? We got doo doo. You really need to scoop that, bud. He's just listening to some car crashes, huh? Edward Shovel Hands! Twine Parks! <laughs> Vampire Hunter B! And of course, Sanity's Fall, right there, as, uh, of course. Oh shit! Sal plays guitar, as they fucking should! As he fucking should! Uh, also, he takes some meds. He's got some bracelets. As he should, as he should. Get the help you need, Sal. Alright, well, we got in Dad's room. He's playing on the computer. Hey, Dad! Can't talk right now, Sal. I got a deadline for work. I remember that time I said that not everyone was going to have the Jersey accent. And then everyone got the Jersey accent. Todd. Talk to Todd in 202. I'm just going straight there then. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, menu, for saving me like 10 minutes of meandering. 202. I should really check the menu more often. Hey, Sally face. Sorry, it took me a minute to answer. Uh, I was wrapping up a tutoring session with Ashley. Uh, me too, Matt. Hey, I'm Ash. Ah. <laughs> you must be Sally Face. I've heard so much about you. Damn, she's got everything. Long hair, a choker, those little sleeves with the fingies. Yep, yep. That, that'd be my type back in high school. <laughs> uh, me? Y you have? Yeah, good things, I swear. I'm glad I finally got to meet you. Uh, you, you too. I mean, it's, it's, ni it's nice to meet you. Uh, oh, I'd love to stay and chat some more, but I gotta get going. Thanks for helping me out today, Todd. No problem. We can work on algebra next week. Alright, sounds good. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully I'll run into you again soon, Sally Face. Yeah, that that would be awesome. Enjoy the weekend, boys. Y you too. You uh, you all right, Sal? You uh, you seem a bit nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm I'm cool. All right. So, what brings you out this way? Ash seems nice. Is she a freshman too? What's she like? Oh, her full name is Ashley Campbell. She's a freshman, like us. Uh, she's a pretty nice person. She's got some trouble with math, so I've been tutoring her for the past couple weeks. Uh, in exchange, she can, can, uh, in exchange, she does her sentences correctly and doesn't screw them up at all. Uh, in exchange, she occasionally assists me with my art assignments. She sounds like a great friend. You should hook me up, bud. Yeah, sure, I suppose. Uh, you didn't come to talk about Ashley, though. What the fuck? Oh, right. Six Sense reference. Are you referencing Miss Sanderson? No, it's something else. This building is haunted, and I'm trying to figure out where uh, more about the ghosts here. Oh, I see. I need your help. Thank you for telling me your story. I think I may be of some assistance to your exploration of the paranormal. Specifically, I have a suspicion that the apparition resides in my bathroom. Huh, really? Yes, it does seem to be a strange coincidence that your Megan and my apparition are both found in bathrooms. However, it could just be that the water pipes is act as some sort of conductor for them. Uh, though that could be only speculation on my part. Uh, do you have your gear board cartridge with you now? Yeah. Perfect. Let's go check out the bathroom. Now, what do you usually do to call Megan? Does the gearbox always light up when she's near? It doesn't light up every time. Usually I just start talking to her. Sometimes she comes out. Sometimes she doesn't. Oh, okay. Well, go ahead and try the same thing here and attempt to summon the spirit. Hello? Is anyone here with us? We're not gonna hurt you. We're your friends. Hello? Is anyone there? That was a good time for the music to drop, actually. I know that wasn't intentional. That was a good fucking music drop. 
Uh, nothing's happening, and the game's not lighting up either. Hmm. I have an idea. Let me see that. Bet I can modify your gear, boy, to help better detect supernatural hotspots. Good. Uh, sounds cool to me. I'll need two things in order to complete the alteration. First, I'll need something to amplify the device's reception, and second, I need something to boost its electrical output. So, an antenna and a battery pack. Yeah, I'll be in my room once you're ready. All right, I need to find a battery pack and an antenna. Hookah! We need a battery pack. Bob? I like your fish. That's Bob, he's okay. My parents insisted that I need more nature in my life to counter all the balance of, to counterbalance all this technology. Your family seems like a bunch of posers. Also, this is a nice touch, but I love that now that Sally's gotten more into like metal, the background has become less of that nebulous McBase and more of like a proper metal. All right, uh, let's go down to four. Hey, yo, Dad! Fucker. I'm gonna take it that I can't talk to Megan until, uh... Oh! That one's been torn off. Anyway, I'm gonna assume that I can't talk to Megan until I, uh, get everything else sorted. So I'm not even gonna... Oh! Hey! There's a birdcage! I can take wire from that! I know puzzle game logic! You take wire from the birdcage! And you... Wow, that was dark. You take wire from the birdcage. You don't take wire from the birdcage. You instead you go down to floor three. Yes, yes, I know my puzzle logic. You go down to floor three. You go down to floor three and you talk to the the college kids. No, ah, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, yeah, yes, I totally knew you had to go to the sec the second floor, the the second floor. Yes, that's the correct. Hey, hey, axe murder man. Hey, oh, Jeff. Jeff, hey! Jeff! You got any batteries? You should clean your fridge out. I know that meat went bad. Hey, Charlie. You got any bullshit in here? Maybe shit from your butt? Uh, uh, buh, buh, buh. What I meant to say is floor, floor one. Floor one. Floor one! Yes, absolutely. Yes, I know my puzzle logic. Looks like after I'm done recording, I've got to go do my own Larry impersonation. That's right, listen to heavy metal, do some plumbing, and watch someone get murdered. Hey, Miss Rosenberg! Hey! I'm not... T no. Addison! Hey, Addison... No. The basement! Yes, of course, the basement! Yes! Absolutely- I was fooling you all, it was the basement the whole time. I was going to check to see if there was a thing in the lost and found. Now... Sally face! Larry face! That is so cute. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. <laughs> Larry! Let, Larry, buddy! I need this. Hey, can I borrow this, uh, this here antenna? Yeah, I guess that'd be okay. Yoink. Is your mom okay? Yeah, she'll be alright. The change of seasons always get to her. It's just a bad cold. She'll be okay. Alright, I'll be back. Hasta la vista, Sally. Did you ever make that tape the... Did you ever tape that new Sanity's Fall song? Yeah, man. You want to hear it? Yes! Ah, oh, this is so good! Alright, I'm gonna have to listen to that off... I'm gonna have to listen to that off camera. I am burning... I am burning time. Little earmuffs. I love... I love his earmuffs. I love his earmuffs. Also, weird touch. I like that Sal didn't bother trying to uh, correct Miss Addison. Like, that'd piss me off. Like, but dude, I've got long hair and I'm a guy. Like, I get it. I'm a I'm a guy with long hair. Uh, that doesn't make me a chick. Come on. What's over here? Hey, can I eat your toolbox? Now where am I supposed to go? Battery pack. Gizmo. Gizmo. All right, maybe maybe Todd can actually give me a hint because I'm stupid at this. Todd, buddy. Todd, buddy. Nice Alamal poster. Uh, what will be good for the power? Uh, walkie-talkie. Yeah. Okay, I already solved this. 
Antenna. Cool. Behold the Super Gear Boy! Alright, thank you. Uh, cool? Don't worry, you can still play games on it. It'll only be in ghost hunting mode when the strange cartridge is in it. Oh, awesome. You had me worried for a second. However, uh, I unfortunately needed the extra parts from your walkie-talkie, and I wasn't able to salvage it. I hope that's alright. Uh, Larry's not gonna be happy about that. It's okay, though. It's for a good cause. Wonderful. Now, for the best results, you're gonna have to hold out the system with the antenna fully extended. To do so, press the shift button. The screen will glow if it detects any paranormal frequencies in close proximity. While it's flashing, press the R button to produce a large electrical discharge. If my theory is correct, the surge of electricity will provide an ample source of power to energize nearby apparitions and possibly other supernatural elements as well. Okay, alright. Blah blah. Alright, take it for a test run in my TOILET! Sounds good. Whenever you're ready, hold the sheer f Huh, maybe I... Damn! I feel that's the way too after I eat curry. Holy crap. Hey, hey what's the matter? Uh, I never thought he'd kill them. I, it's all my fault. Who? Stacy and her daughter. Oh god, what a fool I was to fall for a married woman. It's never a crime to follow your heart. You must be a romantic like I was. It's kind of you to say, but I know better than that. We want to help you. Why haven't you left this place? <clears throat> we can never leave. What do you mean? You can't pass on? Mm. What's keeping you here? Have you seen a demon with red eyes? Can you tell us anything? No! 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 What is it? He's here! Who, the red-eyed man? The one who killed Stacy and her daughter? I have to go! I'm sorry! Oh! Th yeah, he sure was there. That was a fully formed and conscious apparition. I've never seen anything like that. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's just one thing I read about paranormal and formula theories. It's a whole other thing to actually experience it. I know what you mean. It's a lot to take in. Well, we have some work to do. I think I've had my fill of excitement for today, so I'll stay and do some research. I want to look into the history of the Addison Apartments to see if I can find anything about past residents and the supposed murders. That'd be really helpful. While you do that, I'm gonna search for more supernatural hotspots. Perfect. Oh, uh, by the way, I noticed some extraneous static around the game cartridge. You might want to check it out and make sure it's okay. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna play with it. 